right everyone today I'm going to prepare a dish I'm not quite sure what is going to be but it's definitely based on fish um, I've got some smoked sea bass uh, wild salmon and some prawns and then I'm going to use butternut squash potato dill and leek so I'm not actually sure how this dish is going to end up looking but I've got a good idea now I think I'm gonna use one fillet of salmon first as I'm going to get rid of the skin even though I like the skin it's never cleaned properly so I'm not gonna use it Okay, I just cut the skin, then, then I go back to the original plan of rolling up the salmon with the sea bass. But for that I'm going to use the leek. At least that's, that's the original plan. So I've got some leek here, which I'm just going to... Mm -hmm. I'm not going to cut it in half because I want to use the whole leek so I'm not cutting through now this way I can get nice pieces of leek and I think to make it easier to work with what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to boil it a bit so it should be easier to work with it Again, I'm just going to decide what this dish is going to be uh, as I go. Perfecto. Now I'm gonna start the sauce. Uh, I'm just going to add some beef tallow. Hmm, just thinking, I think, what if I introduce some meat as well, yes, okay, so I'm just going to pre-cook the leek. Come on, you can do it. This can be on a low heat. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. So, again, just bear with me because I'm making this up as I go. I have decided to add some serrano ham to the mix. And what I will do is, if I can, I'm going to roll up the serrano ham and 
the salmon and of course I can do that why not should I yes I should I'm going to add another layer come on you can do it don't break don't break don't break doesn't matter I'm still going to do it okay so this broke a bit but that's fine so just roll up the salmon and one more time dim, dim, dim. that's it Yeah, that looks good. Let's give this to Mrs. T. Okay. Now I'm going to roll up this in the C bus. Just like so. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's good. I'm getting somewhere. Yes. Yeah, it actually starts to look good. I should go this way. All right. Yeah, that's starting to look good. <laughs> How is the leak? And it's soft already, which is great. All right, good. I can use this water for the sauce. That's enough. Excellent, excellent. Okay, this is gonna cool down a bit. Let it cool down. This one is dry already. I can turn it off. I can turn the heat up. And nice. Let's use this one. Butter squash. Yeah, so I'm planning to turn this into a puree as a sauce. Sauce puree? We see. Let's see what happens. I feel adventurous today. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's see what this is like. Shake, okay. Shake and pull. Mmm, nice. Alright, so the leak has cooled down. I'm not actually sure if this is going to be long enough to roll up it's kind of is but not, not quite hmm actually yes I know what I'm gonna do let's roll it up come on and again Yeah, just like that. And I'll do the same with this one. Hmm. Should have gone for a bigger piece, but this one is actually fine. I'm now. going to use some butcher string. Yeah, just to keep it in... Um, one piece that's it that's all I need nice let me redo this I'm going to use this one first so just reshape it 
All right. Make sure it is covered. It's okay. Feels a bit too loose. I think. I think. Hmm. I'm gonna need more leak for this one because it doesn't do the job properly. So I'm going to add more leak. Get rid of the first layer. Just use the second layer. Again, I'm going to loosen it up. Come on. Yeah, hot water does its thing. It's going to be much easier to work with it. Yeah, this, this is too small. It's not gonna work. I definitely need a bigger piece of leak. So this is good so far. Okay, that should do. Now it's flexible enough to work with it. And it has some extra flavor from there as well. Nice. Okay, I'm not gonna wait too much. It's going to cool down in no time. All right. So second layer I'm going to add as well. Yeah, this is much better. Yeah, you need two layers. All right, nice. That's it. This knife needs to be sharpened. Come on. Okay, nice. And so the leak should protect and give flavor to the fish. And actually I should finish this in the oven. That's what I should do. All right, the oven is on. So, what I'm gonna do is, what should I do next? I still have some prawns to use and the potatoes to do. What's gonna take longest? The potatoes maybe? What should I do with the potato though? I think I'm gonna fry them. Yes. So I've got this nice potato, I'm gonna leave the skin on. What should I do with the potato is the question of the day. I think... Um, would be nice to have some crispy potatoes with the fish. What should I do, what should I do, what should I do, what should I do? I think I know. Let's find the mandolin. Yes. Okay. So I've got this mandolin. And let's see if I can slice this potato nice and thin. That's maybe too thin. This should do. Still too thin. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. All right, nice. Nice, very thin potatoes. should do. Now, as I said, I'm going to wash the starch out from the potatoes, then I'm going to dry it, I'm going to deep fry them. It's going to be nice with the fish. Um, what should I do with the rest? So, I think I should use a different pan for the potatoes for sure. I'm gonna use this trusty pan. I don't actually need this one at the moment. Now I'm just going to wash the potatoes until the water is clean. That's how long it is going to take. And yes, I know I'm wasting water, but I need this to be clean. I think I'm going to make a sauce with the shells and the heads, because I don't want to waste them obviously. I'll just take off the shell. Nice. This one is a bit freezer burned. Hmm. It was out of the bag. Okay. That's it. All the prawns are butterflied and the weighed. Nice. I can get rid of this chopping board. Don't need it anymore. So I've decided to add the shells as well. And I'm going to turn that into a sauce or a oil, we'll see. And as you can see, the leak is protecting the fish. And I'm just going to finish this in the oven. Shouldn't take much longer than about five, six minutes. And next step, has to be potatoes. So for that, hmm, we have the potatoes which have been washed, and I'm going to need to dry them. So I have this clean kitchen towel and just dry the potatoes.
Some paper towel. And dry these nicely. Excellent. Then, obviously, we have the prawns as well. So those need to be cooked off. And let's see how the bottom squash is doing. Still a bit hard. But almost there. Just going to add some more water to it. That's it. going to dry the prawns That's done. Prawns won't take long at all. Just going to add a bit of salt. Nice bit of uh, smoked sea salt, one of my favorite for sure. Bit of black pepper, nice. Okay, this is almost done. And I'm gonna need more fat. What do I have in here? I've got some ghee. Yeah. Okay, pros are done. That's it, the prawns are done. Oh yeah, stay there. Amazing stuff. And I'm going to use the same pan to fry the potatoes. And for this I'm using a mixture of beef tallow and ghee. And it's going to be tasty, wow. So let's test it.
Nice, I can add a few more potatoes at the same time. Okay, I'm going to turn on that one. It's done. Let's see the fish. I believe the fish is done as well. That's it. it. Almost all the potatoes are done. I've got one more batch to do and that's it. So over there. Salt, puree this. <laughs> All right, butternut squash puree is done as well. Mm, nice and spicy. Okay, just tidy up again. Now, what's missing is the dill. I think the dill I'm just going to leave almost like a salad. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything with the dill. The deal is there to support the dish, just like so. That's it, doesn't need to be cooked. So, remove this. So the leek held the fish together and it gave flavor as well. But now I'm going to remove it it that's it just get rid of the leak the flavor is there and it's done its job already all right just going to torch the skin
that's it. So the fish is done. Now I can plate up. So we have the lovely butternut squash puree. Not doing anything fancy. Not my style. prawns as well. Let's just do three pieces. And a bit of the dill, which I have decided to leave raw. Maybe not this bit. And of course, don't forget about all this flavor. Okay, so to finish off, we have the prawn butter. Wow. Nice. All right, guys. This was a bit uh, of a messy episode, I have to say. Kitchen looks messy, but it's all right. So this is my Valentine's Day um, dinner for Mrs. T. Um, jerk, spiced, butternut squash puree, wild salmon, serrano ham and smoked sea bass with dill and prawns. And of course, to go with this has to be fish and chips. We have some nice crispy potato to go with it. Guys, awesome. I hope that you enjoyed the episode and i hope that i have inspired you to do some cooking at home if you don't do so and i shall see you on the next one thanks for watching